the biggest events of spring is coming up just a few days away, and it is over in the west side of the state in the beautiful little town of Holland. And as you might have guessed, it is the Holland Tulip Time Festival. Let's find out more now and to introduce you to Sally Lakaitis. She is director of the Holland Convention and Visitors Bureau. And Sally, uh, welcome back to the program. Thank you very much, Dave. Nice to have you back. And um, so Tulip Time Festival, I mean, they've been doing Tulip Time for so long. Um, I don't remember the exact date when they started. 1929. 29. So it's right. been around for a while. Yes, it has been. And, uh, of course, originally the Holland uh, Tulip Time Festival was really, I, I think, all about Dutch heritage, if I remember my history right. And it seems like it's evolved quite a bit over the years. It truly has. In, in fact, it used to be a festival that was a four-day festival um, that was always the third weekend in May. And um, over the years, there was such a growing interest in it that it has been expanded, and now it runs a full week. It runs May 5th through May 12th, Saturday to Saturday. There, um, so this coming weekend, we'll be kicking things off. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, there are a couple of pre-festival events. Um, on Friday, May 4th, there is Dutch dancing and something called Kinder, da- kinder Dutch dancing, which mm-hmm. are children doing their Dutch dancing. That all takes place in Centennial Park in the gazebo, which is a lovely little downtown park. Um, And then Saturday, we kick things off in full swing, um, including our fiesta, which is now a celebration of our Latin American Hmm. um, heritage here in Holland. And that has a king and queen contest, great Latino food. Um, There's always a lowrider car show. So you get a mixture of both cultures of Holland. The the Mexican-Americans have a large presence in the Holland area as well. So this is a nice way to marry the two cultures together. Yeah, great idea. Yeah, yeah. It's really been fun. We started doing this probably, oh, nine, ten years ago. We actually took what was the Cinco de Mayo celebration, and um, La UP, our Latin Americans Mm -hmm. United for Progress, changed the name to Fiesta, spoke with the Tulip Time folks. So always that first, um, the first Saturday of Tulip Time is... um, is fiesta mm-hmm. it always includes ballet folklorico which so not only now can you see dutch dancing but you can see wonderful um mexican dancing there's a mariachi band um king and queen contest um and i actually misspoke it actually begins on friday the fourth mm. and runs the fourth and the fifth and then on that Saturday night, the 5th, um, are our big fireworks festivities down at Collin Park. So, so you actually nice start uh, with fireworks instead of wrapping up. Yes, we do, which huh. is which is pretty different yeah. and um, and lovely for all of the folks that are in town. Oh, you bet. Well, and you know, I think, you know, what you just described is one of the reasons why I love Holland so much. Um, the diversity, you know, the pride in, in culture and and obviously, you know, Holland, it has such Dutch uh, tradition, but the the community has changed and evolved so much over the years with the Latino population and Asian population. And I think if people have never been to Holland, they'll really be surprised by the diversity, not only with the ethnic groups, but ages, too, You because of Hope College and Grand Valley. And there, there's so much energy from the youth in the community, too. It, it's just a great town. It it truly is. We're we're very fortunate here, and now um, we have a Korean uh, plant in town, LG Chem, making mm. lithium ion batteries. Right. So that's another um, mixture to the community. So we're we're definitely becoming a melting pot over here in Holland, Michigan. Well, and and it's really spectacular that uh, the Holland Tulip Time Festival uh, folks uh, kind of celebrate uh, not just the Dutch heritage, but um, but get involved in in you know co-promoting uh, some of these other um, events as well. So yep. so. It, it, it kicks off this coming weekend. Um, w- do you actually have a parade that first day? We do not. Our parades are Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, um, the, the final Saturday. Mm-hmm. So Wednesday, May 9, is the street scrubbing parade. And we have confirmation, of course, that the governor will be here scrubbing yeah. with us, yeah. as well as Mr. Lorenz, mm-hmm. our radio host, yeah. and George Zimmerman from Travel Michigan. They'll be 
all dressed like little Dutch boys <laughs> in their wooden shoes with their brooms. It, you know, it is one of our favorite days. Uh, George and I, you know, we're quote unquote working, but it's it's uh, kind of our one little hooky day of the year where we get to have a great time. Um, intermingling with the industry, which is an important thing for us to do, but it's just a fun time. It's a it's a great time, and and I would really encourage folks to come over on Wednesday and uh, check George and Dave out in, <laughs> in there. Well, it, it is quite a picture, I must say. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> um, and in fact, I think we will be um, tweeting or Facebooking that day on the Pure Michigan uh, Twitter and Facebook, so oh, you'll be terrific. able to see us all dressed up in our fun uh, Dutch boy costumes. Excellent. Along with the governor, by the way. So Absolutely. we'll take some pictures of him, too. Absolutely. So that's that's the Wednesday parade. That's the Wednesday parade. The Thursday parade, Thursday, May 10, that is the Kinder Parade. And that parade includes um, over 5,000 school-age oh, children. Unbelievable. Which is really fun. They're all in costumes. And you can start participating in the parade as, with your classroom when you're in the first grade. We don't, kindergartners, it's a pretty long parade route. So mm-hmm. um, first grade all the way up through high school. Um, the high school component, obviously are the marching bands. Um, The Holland High School Band, of course, marches in wooden shoes, does a little dance routine to tiptoe through the tulips. They've been doing that for numerous years. And that's always a really, really fun parade. And and people that come to that parade are just so amazed to see all of these these school-age children in costumes. Um, It's also, I think, Tulip Time Festival is also one of the reasons that all of the surrounding Holland area um, schools have such excellent bands Mm -hmm. because they all have the opportunity to perform in front of literally hundreds of thousands of folks. And during the school year, because that's that's one of the challenges for so many parades and festivals is that many of them are during the summer when schools aren't uh, in session. So it's great that they're um, probably explains why they're so good. I, I, I do think so. Mm-hmm. And um, and then, of course, on Saturday is our big music parade. Mm. And that parade brings, it will have um, at least 40 bands from um, around the Midwest. Um, and it's it's just a wonderful parade with the big, huge Macy-style balloons that you see in the Macy's Christmas Parade. We have some of those great big balloons, a number of floats from around the area. It's really a fabulous parade, and, and people are always so amazed that you can see a parade of that caliber um, in Holland, Michigan. It's really, really a wonderful parade. There are also bleacher seats available if people want uh, an actual assigned seat um, for the parade, they're five dollars, and um, those can be purchased at the Tulip Time Festival office, which is located on Eighth Street, which is our main downtown street. In fact, the parade goes right in front of that, and right in front of the Holland Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. Um, we're located at the beginning of the parade route um, in downtown Holland. And where you can find information, all the details and such. Uh, have about a minute left, Sally. And, and I know there's concerts and there's theater and, and attractions and, and such, you know, all throughout the week. Great food. But I have to ask you, when when do the Dutch dancers go out and dance in the street? It's an awesome experience. They actually dance a lot. In fact, they start dancing um This Wednesday, May 2, with practices, they dance Thursday, May 3, Friday, May 4, um, and then they dance every day, May 5 through May 12, at all times of the day. The most spectacular um, dancing, I think, is in the evenings around Centennial Park, where literally we'll have 800 or 900 of the 1,500 dancers performing all at once. They ring this beautiful park. Um, The music is very festive. They're all in traditional Dutch costume, wooden shoes. It's really a beautiful, colorful sight to behold. All starting next Saturday, May 5th, goes through the 12th, the Holland Tulip Time Festival. Thank you to Sally Lakaitis, director of the Holland CBB. For more information, just go to holland.org. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's program. We'll uh, look forward to talking to you next week right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.